Right now, a man is facing several charges after a standoff with Madison police that lasted nearly two hours. After the standoff, police confiscated several items. A new N6 we're learning that includes nearly $30,000 in cash. Madison Rio spoke to a detective on the case and has you covered on what their biggest concern is moving forward. Brandon Amber, right now, 30-year-old Patrick T. Bishop is facing several criminal charges following a standoff with Madison police. Bishop initially escaped officers during a traffic stop on Wednesday afternoon near McKenna Boulevard and Park Heights Court. He later ran from police when they approached him at a nearby apartment. Police say Bishop then ran through another complex and a stranger's unit before ending up on the roof. Officers were able to talk him down and take him into custody. Once Bishop was in custody, police confiscated several items, including large amounts of cocaine, heroin, oxycodone, and $28,000. Although, although these alone are concerning to police, their biggest concern? The gun that had been modified into an automatic weapon. A Glock a handgun in the picture, you can see that there's like a little bump on the back. Um, that's most likely a suspect machine gun conversion device. The inability to control a firearm when you have a, we call it an auto sear or a switch, when that's affixed to a gun, even the most trained shooters cannot control that firearm. You'll send rounds in places you never intended to. He adds, over the past two years, Madison police have seen an increase in gun conversions into an automatic weapon. According to Madison police, Bishop is currently facing 10 different charges.